So we had a kind of bear set underneath this um, culvert here. It goes over to this side like this. Sometimes I put my colony trap in it. But my stick's knocked over that I had my kind of bear on. But my I don't know if there's anything in it. Let's see. Uh, oh yeah, there is. We got a rat. Eh, medium sized one. Not huge, but every single time the water goes up, they travel through here. There. Oh yeah, that's why I should have my big colony trap I would have took out today. And I put that underneath there, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Guaranteed like six went through here last night at least. <laughs> this year, you know, I, I put the colony in here for once, once you know, it's the first yeah. time. Next day I had five in it. Mm -hmm. But one of them got away also somehow. I mean, that's pretty far down. See this? Just on the spring here is where I put this. That way they don't, you know what I mean? Go right there. And then I just take this, usually. And see, if they're traveling on top of the water underneath that pipe, yeah. they're going to see this right at the end right here, when they come through here. And they're just going to dive under. Right there is my freaking trap. You know what I mean, though? Yeah. Alrighty, so it is the next day from when we caught that last muskrat and we're at the pipe again early in the morning here and we got another muskrat that exact set guys um these sets are really these sets really do work i'm just gonna take them off here. about the same exact size don't know if you can see if we can and maybe he's a little bit bigger actually Nice size muskrat. We'll wash them off here. Alrighty, we'll put her right back down in there. Alright, there I remade it. There's the muskrat. These size one. So anyways, here's how I have it set. Um pretty much. Let me get my uh headlight here. Anyways, here's how I have it set. There's you can see a distinct trail. There's like a light line that goes across over to here. And it's kind of darker over here, but sometimes you can't, they, it's not always like that. But it's really right here. And it gets dark again, and then it gets light all the way up through the river there. But then, as you can see, there's a rock blocking over here and a rock blocking over here. Got a stick kind of right there, a stake. And my condor bear is sitting right there in the middle. And they just swim um full speed through here anyways that's how i catch them and i might actually get my big colony trap and put it over here like i used to for one day sometimes i feel like i can spook them so yeah we're gonna check some muskrat traps here oh uh, we got some i think oh yeah we did we got muskrats all right muskrat mania in a colony trap in a colony trap Oh my, giant muskrat, giant, giants, guys. Oh my gosh, absolute stud muskrats in my colony here. Absolute giants. Biggest one I caught all year, right here. Biggest one I caught all year. Two biggest ones, almost four pounders. Look at that, giants.
well we just so guys all we do is we just came across the road right here i mean it kind of the state kind of owns this so we're just like you know let's just set it anyways right and i mean this ditch has rats in it guys we literally it's over right now it's over guys it's freaking done Oh yeah. See, so many muskrats flo flooding stuff up there that like, um, they just make this trap get all dirty by floating stuff. But we just set our trap right here again. You see, they kind of funnels them right here coming over here. And then they kind of just swim. So, you know, we might add more traps somewhere else. But. Well, we got this little bit smaller trap here. And we're gonna put it you know what we're gonna do we're gonna put it next to my big trap is what we're gonna do put it right down here too because there's an opening area dang it ow that hurt my hands we kind of got to hurry up here i don't want people to see me people steal stuff nowadays Guys, look at that. Only place they can go is in between it if they want to. So, we're in this creek here. And I had my square colony trap right here. It's about the width. It's literally out of the water this much. And I caught a muskrat in it somehow. I don't know how he went in there. But he was still alive, so I put him on the back of the truck. And now we got a 150. And we're just going to use this instead. We're gonna, And it'd probably be better, honestly. I'm going to try to find a spot for this 150 to set up. Maybe like right in here. It's a little bit deeper here actually. Anyways, we're gonna set it somewhere. Alrighty, so what I did is I like took out a channel in the creek kind of. And so they're gonna die when they get to here. Oh, that's at least what I hope. I don't know. I might have gotten lucky with that one, but I'm not gonna get lucky if I catch him with this 150. So the channel's gonna run about, I have it running about right in here. So we'll literally just go like this, guys. And what I'm gonna do, oh, that looks good actually. So I'm gonna take a big old stick and I'm gonna blade across there so that they have to dive. put a dive stick here just like that oh yeah guys it's over now it is so easy now look he goes all the way up through here this channel so he's gonna i already started the channel he's gonna go underneath Ooh, i'm caught Alrighty, guys so <clears throat> down here by the culvert where i caught all those other muskrats those two others um i'm gonna make a set across here it's um you kind of come up here to feed. Almost a foot trap would work for this, but um, you can see it's a pretty easy trail to see. Um, I think I'd catch them here. I should, but here. Um, put it right here. There's like a big trail right here. Easily to see. Yeah, just like that. And then we'll just put a stake through it right here like this. Alrighty guys, so that's going to be the end of this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, a lot of muskrat trap in this video. Stay tuned for next video. We'll catch more muskrats hopefully. So, see you in the next one.